hi youtube friends thank you for joining my dan computer training channel in today's tutorial our attention will be focusing on cloud computing so what is cloud computing how does it work and how can that benefit you as a person benefit your company and benefit everybody thanks fully cloud computing have come to stay and in this tutorial we are going to learn much about how we can make use of this and the benefit to each and every one of us so the question is why cloud computing well we may have to cast our mind back a little to understand where we are coming from in today's modern computer well to understand this better we will have to cast our mind back to the history a little many years ago there was no computer like the one we are having today the base of the technology was the typewriter many of you are familiar with typewriter don't you well there was a need to improve from there we were not bored with much of those history but however in order to enjoy modern day use computer there was always need to be able to save what we do so you may remember when we we're having three and i have floppy disk drive or we refer to a drive a or five one quarter we refer to it as drive b oh you remember that we were using these to be saving our file a few years ago and the capacity was very low because it was unable to carry some of the modern days picture just a picture some of the pictures that is over for mb may not be able to carry by 3.5 disk so there was constant need to improve on this later there was another one called zip drive how many of you remember zip drive please raise your hand if you do remember zip drive oh i'm seeing few persons okay zip drive happened to be a bit bigger some of them were up to 250 mb and so on so it was a great achievement all these actually serve as a backup to what we do well as time progresses we start having what we were so much delighted when we start having external hard drives in that case we will be able to save our work and save much more than what others could carry so as time progresses this becomes a major means of backing up our content it was also exciting when we start having flash now ah, everybody don't have flash don't you do you do but then if you put all these together you realize that there's one thing that was still lacking if you back them up what happened if there is any fire incident in that apartment where it was backed up you may likely consume and destroy your backup or what if the physical damage could just be the flood it could just be mishandled it could just be anything and make it stop working what if that particular device have a factory issue that will go bad sooner so there was a need to improve on our means of backup so then there was this amazing and amazing beautiful one it is refers to as cloud computing well well we do not just use the word cloud safe because it's actually more than cloud safe. but we are talking about cloud computing what's the difference saving a file on cloud is just an aspect of what is going on on cloud computing so please sit back and let's go together and learn a little with this time we are going to send attention to the part a of the tutorial on cloud computing which is how to gain access to cloud computing well among other cloud computing we are going to discuss about google drive google drive have gained so much ground and one of the reason is that many of us use google products so how do you know whether you have a cloud space well nearly all of us do have a cloud space how do you know do you have any gmail if you do have gmail then you have a cloud space oh you say you have not seen yours count well let's take a walk together and see it together on my screen we are going to do that let me log on to one of my email all right to log on to the email could just type gmail.com all right after typing gmail.com 
you will need to sign into your email account all right that is the first thing you do so come in here and click on this when you click on it it will allow you to sign in to your user you must have an email account and you may need to sign into your username and password we are going to use this as an example at this point i want to type my password my password is dash 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 i'm sure you got that password right so now i have logged into my email that after opening your email this is my email environment go to the next tab you can click on this plus here to get another tab after i click on this tab just type drive drive dot google dot google dot com now what happened here is that the google drive will look for the available email that is active at a point in time and then work with that in this one i have not used this before to back up anything so today we are going to learn a little about the environment the physical environment as time progresses in our next tutorial we are even going to customize it in such a way that you can actually save decide what you want to send to cloud even while you are offline that means when you are not even on internet how you can save create a folder and be train a work two works that you want it to go to cloud into that folder and on its own it will upload it whenever the system is online that is going to come up in a, as part of our part two now let's get familiar with this environment this environment is very important what this tells you is that you can actually work on most of the application using this environment let us assume you do not have a microsoft office do not have many of those applications in this system but while you're on cloud space or your cloud site or your cloud uh, uh, your cloud space here you can actually have access to all those and more to do that kindly come to this way all right when you click on this you can see there are many of them here you can here this is called google docs all right slides that is the powerpoint sheets that is excel and many more you can keep seeing them so any of them you click take for example let me click the excel it will open a sheet excel sheet for you in order for you to start working remember that all this is possible that because you are online you have to be online because this is cloud okay now you can make a choice of whether you want a blank or a template okay to choose the blank you choose the first one there which you have at the left side of it you can see the environment here look like your excel or spreadsheet so this is another means of working online even when you are doing your project you don't need to always depend on the, the one you have on your system that is offline you can depend on this the reason is that this one virus will not be able to affect it this one even though they steal your system you are using to work on either your project or anything your work remains because your email is still alive so you can open it with another system and continue working so you can do whatever you want in here type whatever you want what pleases you at the end of the day you save it when you save it you have done something great all right all right so now let's get that done you can even decide to rename the sheet and whatever you want take for example if i want to rename this i will just come to rename for example and click on it okay when you click on it what happened it allowed you here to rename i can just name let's say sample sample that become that sheet name so there are much you can do using this so the menu and the ribbons are all there when you are done you could close it when you close it automatically you can see it it has come down to the inbox of your cloud space all right now that you have an inbox of your cloud space what more can we do picture this okay you can actually back up your files when you come to this environment my drive click on this arrow you will decide either to upload a file for files that means single files or you are interested in uploading a folder let's try files first when you click on that it will open you a dialog box 
in this dialog box it allowed you to process things on your system access so many things take for example i want to back up this so you can allow me a light, a light many files and back them up at the same time all right clicking on open it will come to the bottom right of your screen and show you the activities how it's uploading you can see it's working uploading one after the other if you notice on my dashboard it's actually occupied with many of this work and you can see that means i have back up my files on cloud okay good good so when you have confirmed that it's done you close it you can see now my dashboard have been occupied with so many things i have backed them up that is what it means what more can you do if you want to locate maybe you're having so many files you want to locate the recently done work you can just click on recent and then the recent files that you have worked on or you have transferred will be the one you will see first well what what do we mean by start well 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 some items that you feel that they are very important to you that you want to be seeing them or want to group them into a different folder that you always want to use among others you can start them when you don't longer interested you can stop you can remove that all right how do you do that let's take for example that this is one of the files that is very important to, or you want to start just right click on it that is one method right click among what you will have here as drop down will be the one that can allow you to start which one just come to this add to start click on it now i've added only this one called humanities let's go to start and check do you see that it's only that humanities that is here so that is how you do now this is trash you know what, what trash is what you delete sometimes you want to undo needless to tell you that the google gave you 15 gig free space on your on a cloud allowing you to save things 15 gigs can save so much of your files especially when they add document pdf and uh, things like uh, pictures so that means if you have five google ag accounts you have 15 times five <laughs> Is that not big about 75 gig and many more if you want to buy of course you can come and buy storage which you can buy terabytes and many more when you have a presentation why depending on a cd or a flash that may fail you at the point you need it most <laughs> why don't you send it to your cloud space when you are working why don't you choose to work on your cloud and save much time many people have lost so much from the, the infected files it could just be a virus consuming all you have had it could just be an accident all you have backed up cease to exist it could be many other things that could cause you pain many people being so downhearted just because of the loss of their files but with your google space you have no problem again google drive is very useful when it comes to this so i will encourage you to try this out and benefit from this and leave me a comment let me know what you think of this tutorial and stay tuned by subscribing liking and sharing this video i'm seeing you in our next video thanks so much love you so much